Close your eyes and focus on your breath. No one is coming in, no one is going out. And try to see if it's comfortable. You want to create a good place for the mind to stay here in the present moment. This is your home for the mind. The Buddha talks about whatever you think about obsessively, that's your home. So think about something good. Be obsessive about something that's good. Because otherwise, if the mind doesn't have a good home, it's usually left out wandering around, exposed to the sun, exposed to the rain, the heat, and the cold. If it's a little child, it's like a little child wandering around the streets and can be kidnapped easily, run over easily, all kinds of dangers running around. So it's good to be inside and then give the child something to play with inside. You've got the breath to play with. It's like having dolls to play with. You can make the breath long, you can make it short, you can make it fat, make it skinny. Otherwise you've got something to play with here so that it's interesting to be here in the house. You don't feel tempted to go outside. That way the mind can gain some safety, it can gain some rest, gain some strength. At the same time, the house gets looked after as well. Here we have to change the image a little bit. It's not a child looking after the house, now it's an adult. You stay in the house, you see something not, not quite right. The, pipe, the pipes are getting rusty or there are insects moving in. Okay, fix it up. Use the breath to fix up the body. The same way that you keep fixing up your house. And that way the house stays in good shape and it continues to provide shelter. If you're out wandering around someplace and there's nobody looking after the house and the birds and the mice and other things will move in, the ants will move in, and then they take over. When you come back to the house, that's not a good place to stay. As things begin to rot out, it doesn't provide any shelter. So you want to make sure that you take good care of the house with the breath. And that way you're taking good care of the mind. The two of them work together. The mind looks after the body, the body helps provide shelter for the mind. To bring these things into alignment for the well-being of both. I mean, ultimately, it's the mind that's going to matter, but in the meantime, the, the body is where you stay. The body also is your tool for doing good things. And you keep it in good shape, so continue doing good things. This is the real principle of contentment. Contentment doesn't mean just anything happens and you're okay with it. It means taking good care of what you've got. So you don't feel a need to get anything else. What you what you got right here is good enough if you look after it. This way the mind has a home and the mind is safe. It's sheltered. It has a place where it can rest and gain strength. But meditation looks after almost all the needs of the mind. So make sure you do it every day.